Well, good morning and welcome back to another Costa Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Yes, um, you see there's a concrete wall behind me. I'm actually staying in an Ibis. I actually stayed here last night. I've just got up. I, I, I haven't even got my hairbrush with me. I went, basically, I went to Barry Island's Pleasure Park yesterday because uh, I need a cred. There's a little credit there, a little coaster. It's actually the last roller coaster in the whole of Wales that I need to ride. By the time I got there, they, they were pretty much closing up, so I just chatted with uh, Henry Dante for uh, a, a good few hours, and <laughs> we had a good chat about stuff. So he said, come back in the morning, I'll buy you a coffee, I'll take you around. So that's what I'm, I'm up early, it's like half seven, I've got an hour and a half drive to get to Barry Island. I'll get on the rides and do a little vlog. I'm actually using my phone at the moment, because I left my GoPro in the car. Um, so, yeah, but I had to show you this hotel room. So it's basically the Ibis in Bridgewater. Now, you say I went to Barry Island. Why am I in Bridgewater? Well, the drive home last night was two and a half hours, but to here it was just over an hour and a half. And why am I not in Barry? Well, <laughs> you go on booking.com, there was no hotels in Barry at all. Apparently there isn't any. So, um, yeah, Henry Dante's putting in plan planning permission for hotels, but the council of basically told him, no, <laughs> you can't have one. So, yeah, but I'm sure he'll explain all that later. Um, but yeah, there was a hotel room not far from Barry for over a thousand pound for one night. This was 62 pound, not including parking, so I had to pay for parking. But uh, yeah, I'll just turn you around the old school way. And yeah, so I've got me velocity coaster t-shirt on today but yeah why am i showing you the room yeah uh i'm not it's not really a travel vlog or anything but I, i've had to show you this room it's so modern basically this is the concrete wall um when they build a lot of hotels now um and obviously modern buildings they use concrete walls as most of you would know but on a budget hotel or something like that they would use just metal and plasterboard and plaster it but yeah they've left the like the holes where where the shutters would be attached to so a massive shutter would be on here and they fill it with concrete the same on that side steel reinforced obviously and yeah look at it it's, it's really modern like there's a nice wooden floor but this bathroom would be a separate thing so they build the walls and then the crane would lift this in to position. These are called pods. So this would be built somewhere completely different and then brought on site. So yeah, they're already kitted out. The toilet. Yeah, really nice walk-in shower. If you see, I've I've had one. Yeah, I didn't bring my brush and my hair was a bit of a mess. <laughs> but I, have, I did get some uh, deodorant and toothpaste from the garage. Really nice actually around here. There's a, there's a lot of brand new stuff. There's a, like a, an Asda with a drive through Greg's as well. But yeah, if you scan the QR code on there, yeah, it actually tells you about the hotel. It was designed to fit in with the, with the town and the construction. Yeah, it's pretty basic. So you've got a big LG TV, like a walk in wardrobe, car park out there. Yeah, tea, coffee making facilities, no usual stuff. There's an extra towel, hand towel and a hair dryer. You remote, I didn't watch TV, it was late when I got in last night. Really comfortable bed. However, I prefer feather pillows and these are like that sponge stuff, so they're just a bit too high for me. I like a nice firm um, feathered pillow, like goose down or something like that. And you've got a couple of construction pictures there on the wall and that's it <laughs> that's the room yeah, like I said it was 62 pound and really really nice uh, downstairs sorry I'll just turn you around and go to the mirror so I know that I'm focused because I haven't used my phone for vlogging for a long time so yeah I hope the audio is alright I know this iPhone 11 is terrible for filming that's why I never used it um, but yeah I shall see you at uh, Barry Island uh, about an hour and a half, uh, probably have a walk around with uh, Henry, uh, there's the coaster to go on. I won't be doing aerospace because I didn't fit on it last time unless I could try and get on it. But I'll do a little vlog and um, yeah, show you around. I'll see you in a bit.
Yeah, so just come down in the lift here, I was on the first floor. So uh, yeah, I'll just check the footage back in the air, the sound seems to be okay. Yeah, very echo in that room as well. And also very quiet because it's got the concrete walls. But yeah, as you know, it's there. They serve Starbucks in here. So uh, yeah, no breakfast. Um, you can pay a bit extra for breakfast included. I, I don't tend to eat breakfast in the morning. But yeah, it's super modern in here. Very, very nice. Loads of spaces for parking. So uh, yeah. I think there's a Starbucks drive through across the road actually, but I've got one from last night. So I do like these, these are really nice, like really creamy coffee, but yeah, if you're not into cold coffee, you won't like those. Um, yeah, this is basically a, an industrial estate. I actually drove down the road last night <laughs> and got to the first building. I'm like, oh no, it's not even been built, but yeah, it was a bit further down the road. Yeah, really, really nice. Hotel here in Bridgewater. Yeah, never been before. It's not far from um, Minehead, um, Butlins Minehead, actually. So, uh, yeah, if you know the area. But yeah, it was all right, that actually. Yeah, highly recommend it. Ibis uh, Bridgewater. Yes, so good morning. Yes, I'm now arrived here at um, Barry Island Pleasure Park <laughs> behind me. Yeah, it's a really nice day actually. It's pretty cold. I should have brought me uh, my big jacket with me, but like I said, came down yesterday evening, didn't think about it, so I wasn't prepared. Um, yeah, I'm not at Eftelin. I did mention last week and we went to uh, Western Supermare that I might be going to uh, Eftelin this weekend, but I worked yesterday so I can't turn down the money can I really it's a no-brainer uh, and then I came here this afternoon yesterday afternoon or evening and it, it's pretty much closed up uh, I had a good chat with the main man himself Henry Dante uh, who's will be here he's probably been here since five o'clock this morning because uh, he's, he's old school he just he was here till late last night um, yeah I just want to point out the car park here is not free and it's not council owned uh, it's six pound all day, which isn't bad at all. You basically just drive in. They've got the cameras here as well So remember to pay for it. Don't get tickets like I've been doing in the past sort of year or so I'm in my car. Yeah <laughs> Watch what you do when you drive in London, especially. Yeah, so six pound a day isn't bad at all. Right. I've got your handheld today um, I, I broke my GoPro um, I pulled the battery case siding uh, off last night because I bought a new cable to charge the battery for today. I've got enough, I think. I've got another battery in my pocket. Um, so I got a new cable and it didn't work. But as I went to put the um, the case in, the housing back on the side of the GoPro, the actual metal prong on the tide, on the on the top of the side is missing. So it's not actually attached. So I'm, I'm, I'm gripping it with me, <laughs> gripping it, holding it tight so the battery doesn't pop out uh, at the time. Um, yeah, there you go. Aero space. Just uh, the only one in the UK of its type. Yeah, massive KMG. Uh, the only problem is, I don't fit on it. Yes, if you saw the vlog from last year when we came, I didn't fit on it, but I fit on uh, Airborne at Hyde Park. It's weird. Right, first thing I want to show you is the brand new ride that they've got here that he's uh, working on at the moment on his own. The guy came, you right, mate? <laughs> Um, basically, this is the old ghost train that used to be at Walton Pier. Now, I've actually got a, a vlog on the channel, and like, I, I'm not sure, I probably didn't do a separate POV, but there's definitely a, a vlog on the channel from Walton Pier. Oh, airport. Aeroplane just taken up from Cardiff Airport. Very nice. Um, so, the ride here, as you can see, um, it's not a ghost train, but it is, but it's not. It's actually a brand new ride that he's building now um, and it's the wacky gold mine so it's actually going to be the world's first or as I'm as I think of, of it the world's first wooden uh, powered coaster so they're not turning it back into a ghost train he's putting a roof section on it uh, and some sidings around it it's got to be new signs which have been made at the in the process um, 
Yeah, so they've rebuilt it back up here, and it's like I said, it's got. Well, you can see the uh, wooden trusses is put up here, um, the metal in the back, which obviously used to hold the old uh, roof on it. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to stand here and watch it going around. So yeah, it basically goes through the door. I'm not gonna go all the way around because I haven't had permission, but yeah, you go through the door, round the back up this bit here in the middle all powered as well so there's no chain lift but they could in theory build one on here uh, you just need a, a catch car in the bottom uh, and a chain onto this section here so they could put that but it's more effort rather than having it as the powered goes up the top round here and actually down this drop um, up round the top down the back down another drop at the back of there down to another drop round there at the back and round in am I alright to come and wander around? yeah nice one <laughs> and it's oh man there's so there's a thing about being an enthusiast of all things not just roller coasters um, is seeing stuff like this how it's actually being built this is pretty much an exclusive unless the, the doggies have been I'm not sure because I haven't seen it but I'm pretty sure he came and he's probably filmed this um, but yeah <laughs> it's amazing how how much work goes into this I mean the woods all in good condition because it was in, indoors at Walton Pier so it's good good nick in it yeah. yeah has it been much trouble to actually do what you needed to do to get it going no 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 I mean cars go around these you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so there's power to it and you, you actually tested it then I'd like Two cars go around, yeah. Yeah, two, oh yeah, there's two on the track, so he's had two cars going around it. So yeah, like I said, uh, comes out of the station, up this section here. It's actually like a little double up, uh, around the top, down the drop, around the corner. Uh, there's another drop just there. Sorry if the sun's in the way. But yeah, a little drop there, around here, another one there. <laughs> another one here. Uh, down to the end and back down another drop final drop of the and then back round into the station So is it pretty quick then? Has it got some speed to it? It's not like proper slow like a ghost train would be It's a minute and a half A minute and a half Ooh, so what's the speed on that? I don't know about 50, what's that 15 mile an hour? Not it's not too fast. too fast to make it unsafe obviously, yeah. you know it, <laughs> It's got to be done it's right little, It's a little bit faster than we go through That'll do for me. <laughs> so faster. Yeah, we can't turn it down. Yeah, it can't turn it down. So it's set to whatever it is. It was set originally, but like I said, could potentially be the world's first wooden powered uh, mine train coaster. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it was awesome when it was at Walton Pier. Probably see you around in a bit, mate. Cheers. So yeah, are you are you planning on doing? You're not planning on doing any theming to it or anything to it. You are so just a bit though, but it's still got to be open, isn't it? No. So you can see it going around. No, no, no. no. Oh, so he is putting right. it. See where that timber is up there? Yeah. Bigger. Yeah. The front's going right across. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's been made by Mark Abbott. Oh wow! There right. you go. So it's a front. Wait. That timber is there. That's the balcony. Yeah. That's where you walk side. Oh, so you've got an outdoor section, and then, and, and, and then, but will you be able to see the drop from the front though? No, from the outside. So that's all covered up yeah. in the dark. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd, I'd personally just have the, the siding up to this no, section we, here, uh, and then we want to cover it because I, I got some effects to go by there. Ah. Oh. Like there you go. Shh. Shh. Surprises. But yeah, so it is going to be covered up. Uh, but it's still got to be not a ghost train. Yeah, a little powered coaster. So it'll be really cool. But yeah, it's got like a bit going to the front here. But yeah, it would have been nice to see like the drop going down. But it's his plans. Right, let's go and see the, the main man himself. There's also a credit here for me. Which isn't a Goofen Park. Actually, this is the only one made by this company in the world. According to RCDB, by the way. I will get my phone out of my pocket and have a look. Uh, for the information on that but yeah don't forget to follow subscribe and like it's all on the side here so go and do that please 
because I have noticed more people that watch are not subscribed, which is um, a worry, but that's just how it goes on, on YouTube anyway. You got the uh, the jets just here as well. They did have an octopus at the back, so I don't know where that's gone or if he's taken it to another yard. But yeah, very nice, good wheel as well. Another coaster, the dragon that was from Alton Towers. That's at the back. I'll probably go on that. And you got the wild mouse over here as well, and a log flume. Yeah, it's a really good park. Doesn't open till eleven, uh, till eight o'clock, or weather permitting, or attendance. Of Admit, uh, permitted as well, so plenty of stuff for the kids. Yeah, there's no one around. I'm gonna have to find him, he's probably in his office somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, you got the uh, traditional ghost train. This was actually owned by Richard Caddle, who um, owns the, the Sutty, Sutty Show Company. Yeah, it's a really good ghost train, that one. The coaster at the back. Yeah, I haven't really done a lot of these closed park walk-arounds before, so maybe something new that I could bring to the channel, or just when or of, of if um, I have the time. Walter there as well, really nice one. Yeah, and the other thing is as well, I've had a couple of comments asking me about the uh, Museum Madness channel, the second channel or the second social that I was got to start up. It's probably not going to happen. I just don't have the time to start another channel. What I'm going to do is obviously these uh, like amusement parks, theme parks and fun fairs and museums or tourist attractions will just be in a separate playlist. That's all I need to do. So just when you go and search for the videos, check out the playlists. There's all sorts of playlists on there from uh, Florida, California and Dubai. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of space here. Obviously they haven't got the rest of the rides here. Not everything's still set up, but they are open they're open they're here in Barry Island and it's open so I'm gonna walk probably down here yeah the uh, dodgems that are there in the middle that was actually set up as an ice skating rink they actually did a winter event here which speaking to Henry was a, a massive a massive success yeah and the arcades apparently did really well as well so uh, yeah loads of old classic vintage rides down here so yeah You've got the uh, the top scan there. That's uh, that's all folded away. The Super Trooper that was here last season. That's not here. That's owned by someone else. And a couple of other rides. Yeah, I don't really know what else they could get. I did mention Cy Abbott bringing his rides here. Um, New York, New York, and um, his Power Dragon. They'd do really well here, especially with everything else. Well, yeah, it's a massive sight. There was another Dodgems here uh, last season. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have a little walk down there. I'll show you the front of the beach. Really nice. They allow dogs here as well, which is a bonus. I am on my own. Um, Lisa's actually gone to a, a horror hotel tonight <laughs> with a friend and Tilly, so they've stayed there. So that might be something we're bringing to the channel as well. A stay in a horror hotel um, and do a vlog out of that. See if we see any ghosts and stuff. I probably won't sleep that night, but uh, never mind. Yeah, nice little high street here when you come into Barry. And again, like I said, mentioned earlier, no hotels here, so I had to stay in uh, Bridge End, um, just up the road. Well, I say up the road in England near Western Supermare. It's a shame, really. They need they need more infrastructure here in Barry because you've got amazing facilities with the arcades and the food and stuff. And there's a crazy golf and another play park just down there with a caterpillar, which we came and did last year. We've got a Greg's. Coastal coffee, <laughs> the coastal crazy. See that that could have been another channel or another playlist, which I need to sort out really. All my playlists, I haven't fully done them all, but yeah, all the coastal stuff like visiting seaside towns that could go in like coastal crazy file. I don't know. It's it, I'm, I'm starting to sort it out, but yeah, I'm gonna have a walk down here now. Oh, the weather is glorious this morning, it really is. Little breeze, it's, um, what, nine degrees or something like that. They also got the uh, Barry Island Fun Park here as well. If you just see, they got the Caterpillar there. That was actually brand new a couple of years ago. Uh, and they got a small selection of rides here. Also, yeah, it's fish and chips shops everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Young killed behind me, didn't want to be in shot. Uh, yeah, you got the uh, Crazy Golf there as well and just, have a little walk down to the beach and then I'll walk up to the pleasure park up there. 
Oh, dog walkers everywhere, it's amazing. Really, really nice. To be able to make out the, uh, the you know, the, the, the fact that you can come to these places in the winter time and still have a nice day out, especially if the weather's nice. I just wish I brought me a bigger coat because it's, it's freezing. Five degrees, actually. <laughs> Five degrees. The Carpillé, yeah, you see all the shops. Obviously, um, Barry Island, famous for uh, Gavin and Stacey. See? I can't talk this morning. Gavin and Stacey show. Look at the people on the beach with the dogs. Oh my God, it's insane. There's so many dogs on there. Oh, I need, we need to come with Tilly. We really do. And we need to get here earlier, not at half two in the afternoon like we normally do when we go to places. Yeah, the fish and chip shop and things down there, they're all closed up still at the moment. Well, incredible, like, yeah, really nice. And like I say, it's open. It's open for business. Check me out on Instagram as well. Coaster Crazy Andy. Yeah, look at it, amazing. So I'm walking back out to the main road there, gotta get myself a coffee and something to eat actually. But yeah, just walking through the main arcade they have here at Barry Island. I've never been in here before, it's massive, it goes all the way back down there. Uh, and I've walked away to get in here, but look at the floor! It's got AstroTurf in here! <laughs> the whole place, yes! It's really weird! Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, dog, I think dogs are allowed in here as well, it's probably why they put the grass down. Yeah, they actually... Um, they actually own quite a bit around here actually, there's uh, Henry Danters. There's, um, I'm pretty sure he owns some sort of bar or some sort of resort or something around here. Yeah, uh, that was the uh, ice skating thing. Still got the posters up for it. Come on, take them down. But yeah, it was a £10 for adults and £5 for children. Not bad at all. Right, there's a the Gleggs over there, myself, get myself a, a nice Gleggs and less cost. Costal, I'll try Costal co coffee. <laughs> of I need a coffee to wake up a bit. <laughs> Here he is, it's the main man himself. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Tim. Good morning. You alright? Yeah, yeah, good hey. morning. Well, exactly, well, look hey. how happy he is to open up and make a bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you are right. I'm, but I'm, I'm sort of like, I always feel happy <laughs> when I wake up in the morning. I think I'm coming out to look at all this. What man that got a love for a fairgrounds wouldn't be happy? Well, you look like a ranger a, in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> ranger this, Henry. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm just gonna go and uh, put the music on. Yeah. I'll leave you to it for a minute and we'll get you yeah. on, we'll get you on camera again. Oh, you yeah. can you can talk a bit yeah. more. Alright. But I'll let you I set mean, up and you can sort out Yeah. <laughs> Are you going home today? Eh? Yeah, I'm going home to yeah, back to work tomorrow. Yeah. I'll fucking get on that little coaster today, I'll be happy. I'll be an happy yeah. man. Well I'll get them to start going, it, it, Yeah, it, they're testing the yeah. ghost train now. Yeah, they're doing the ghost yeah, that's right. They, they will get around to it. We open at twelve, which is only twenty minutes. Yeah, another twenty minutes. <laughs> I gotta I've got a sort of um, do what I gotta do. Yeah, that's it. Open up. That's it. Get the music on. Let's get the show on the road. Exactly. You know this is the biggest one in Wales, do you? Yeah. The biggest show. It's got more rides than anywhere else in Wales. It has indeed, including yeah. if you count all the little kiddie rides as well. Oh, you must have hundreds of those. Well, that's in the world. Yeah, in the world. <laughs> Most <laughs> of the world. I've got more kiddies rides than anybody else anywhere. I really have. i got a thing about them, even in the arcades. They're yeah, they're rides. everywhere, yeah. And you you know, you've got another I, park as well, Stourport, yeah, Treasure Sousa, Island. So you're not... I've got three parks. Three, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this, this one's sort of growing. 
a starport, we've, we've sort of outgrown it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Simmons Yacht's gone more into residential touring caravans. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. That's our next step now. Is yeah, to start well, I've already new, told them, yeah, yeah big plans. New, yeah. A new, a, new, a new park here would really up. It really place. would, definitely. So, so I just need the backing, the help in the car. I know, it's the same with, yeah. And this, it'll be more wonderful than it's ever been. It will and do. that's what it deserves. <laughs> it deserves to be the best because it's got the best beach. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's got there's hundreds so, of dog walkers on there at the minute. Yeah, it's got so much to offer. It, 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 it's something that could be, well, it is, to me, the most special place in, in, in the world. Oh, bless but you. But to a lot of people, they could come here, and if they have only 1% uh, of the fun I've had here, they'll go away very happy. Oh, that's brilliant. Because it's really, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's made my life that I think, <laughs> they say, when you die, if you're good, you go to heaven. Yeah. I think I've already got there. Oh, bless you. Oh, <laughs> what a lovely thing to say. Yeah, this, I'll let him go and open this, up. This is my heaven. <laughs> it is indeed, yeah. Forget the retirement house in Spain. Well, he owns four of them anyway, but yeah, forget that. This, this is, he, he doesn't want to retire and do this, get to go and do something else. Yeah, but while I'm here, I was gonna show you the token prices um, before I get a wristband or anything myself. I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Mr. Dancer himself will uh, uh, sort me out with a couple of rides anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a pound a token, um, pretty much the standard, um, you get, uh, six tokens for a five, so that's when you start making your uh, your bonuses up. Um, yeah, plenty of choices. I mean, there's 78 tokens for that. It's all down here as well. You can pay by card, uh, chip and pin. That's not a problem. You can use an old school token machine there, or you can go in the token booth, which is just over there. So yeah, the music's coming on. Um, opens in another 15 minutes. Uh, it is advertised on the website. They haven't changed it yet. But the, uh, the, the the winter times, uh, they still sorry, they still got the like the summer times saying uh, that they open from 10 till 8. But it's more 12 till 6, which I would say was a reasonable time to open a park anyway. You know, e even in summertime, you know, like when the kids are still at school, um, open 12 till 6 at least. The kids finish school at 3 o'clock or whatever. They still got they can still come into a park for a few hours. And it's great that they've brought that to Barry Island because, like I said, there's, there's, it was the rugby uh, rugby was on last night. That's why there's no hotels available in Barry. But uh, it's really, really strange how there's literally no hotels available in Barry. Yet I had to go by on the other side of back into England for a hotel was £62 a night. There needs to be accommodation here. He's already said like, oh, there's a whole, whole arcade down the side there, the front. He wants to build on top and put like 400 apartments up there or 400 rooms uh, for accommodation. The car park at the back, like I mentioned when I got here, that's not owned by the council. He, Henry L actually owns the whole land, this whole area. Um, and to have like a multi-storey car park and then apartments on the top of there, it'd be great. And there's so much expansion room for rides. He could even go down the stage if he owned the land and got, especially the planning permission from the council, he could easily do some sort of coaster around the perimeter of the whole entire park. Obviously start down the road. Uh, if it's a traditional coaster, you'd have the station by the road, have the lift hill going up here, and then it would literally go around the whole park, have a helix in the middle, you know, that sort of thing. You could easily do that if you wanted to, but it's the councils. Yeah, really good classic ghost train here as well. You won't be disappointed if you got the fabulous poster, the talk of the town, the one and only. It's a great ride, girls and boys, this is the one to tell you. This is the one, this is the ride you tell your grandchildren about. <laughs> That's how a pro does it, proper showman. <laughs> this is it, it's all fun for everyone, so don't miss out. And all the fun in the fair, we've got some great rides, they're great millions, I suppose, of its lifetime. But I'm sure there's still millions. It, it's, it's still going. going. What a legend. <laughs> so we're all very excited no about here, the yeah. back of Gold Mine. Uh, it didn't sort of make it, it's not in clear, but it certainly will embarrass it. Thank you, hey, that's how you predict, professional. <laughs> just gonna have a clean up in this office. Yeah. It's, it's, so nobody's done anything because we've been so busy. We haven't really done much. You, you need someone to run yeah. it for you. That's what it is. Oh, don't spoil me only little oh. places to get out of life. No, Mister Mister Famous it. in the paper as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we we've um, 
had some wonderful moments here, but so was a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. This, this is part of the history of Wales. This is sort of one of the number one seaside default and towers, great manor. You all those people, uh, safari parks, um, all over the west of England or Wales. There's a lot of places, great manor, uh, walk, uh, Oakwood. All these places before they existed, oh, or people yeah. knew them, or yeah. knew even where Salisbury were. Yeah. Barry was here. Yeah. Barry's been going up for over a hundred years. He's had a bit of competition. He's had one or two people that haven't cared as much as they should for it. But now it's being spoiled. Yeah. Because now it's got the best rides and some of the biggest and best rides yeah, in the world. Oh yeah. Have come here. Well, you got one of only two of the KMGs oh, yeah, over that's there. Right there. Yes, it, it's uh, the, the, KMG the Speed Thirty Two. Yeah. yeah, the Speed Thirty Two. Well, what a ride! Yeah. What a ride! I mean, people go on it, and they. I haven't. <laughs> we got to put him on. You, you were going on it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fit. I'm too big. <laughs> anyway, okay. too big. Yeah, I'm too big. You better lose your weight. You better go oh, on a diet. Oh, he's being cheeky now. You've got to get you on there. You can't miss that. It's like the granddad I, ever, I never had. <laughs> oh, bless him. Right, I need to change my battery as well. But yeah, we'll get on some rides yeah, as well. I'll, I'll just get a few things yeah. on today. So yeah, just get some stuff to get me on some rides. But yeah, seriously, if you've never been to Barry Island itself and the Pleasure Park, please come down here and check it out this year. It's February and it's open. Yes, there's not a lot of people here, but everyone's on the beach at the moment. They come to these sort of places early in the morning, not the uh, afternoon like, like we do. Uh, they come in the morning, take the dogs for a walk down the prom at the back, and then they'll all come on to here, the families. The roads are pretty busy, so there's hundreds of people here. You saw it on before uh, when I went down to the promenade there, but yeah, the uh, Speed 32 there, only, the second one in the world to open up. Uh, the other one is obviously Airborne at High Park Winter Wonderland, which I have been on, and it's amazing. Really, really cool. Like the views, like, I mean, they haven't tested any of these rides yet. Um, I mean, it is really cold still. It's like six degrees now. So, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll get some staff, get me on the, I, I basically just came to ride the uh, the coaster credit, come and have a chat with uh, Henry, uh, and, 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 and get on a couple of rides, get a vlog. Yeah, sorry there's been not many vlogs, obviously everything's still closed, but I'll be going to the Brooklyn's fair next Saturday, with those really good fair in Brooklyn's, we went and did the museum there, and then we're going to Legoland on the Sunday, so next Sunday, Legoland, if you want to come and say hello, come and say hello i'll be going to legoland this coming sunday uh, as i'm recording this vlog because that's back open this weekend so yeah bad lighting <laughs> there you go <laughs> come to barry island right so like i showed you earlier there is a, a lot of rides here there really is more rides here than most amusement parks of this scale anyway in the UK. Uh, it, <laughs> Andrew, the uh, the ride operator for the Dragon, he hates being on camera. It's okay, I'm not filming you. <laughs> I'll get him on it in a bit. Uh, there's so many little flat rides and things for kids here. It's a brilliant day out for the family. I'm not just saying that to pick it up and to make me look good. It really is a nice little park. We've been here a few times and really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it still needs a few touches up here and there, but it's down to the, the, the council and the way that they have the ground set up. Obviously, if it was like a true thing where we'd be able to pull everything off in a, like, a, over a close season, redo the whole ground, like level the whole thing, get it all leveled out, the whole, all the way through, the back to the front, uh, get the arcade with the apartments on the top, uh, get some more rides in here, a nice massive coaster would be great here, because you've got three at the moment, you got the uh, the mouse uh, over there. You've got um, the the dragon as well, and the little new runaway man train. You're right, mate. Oh. <laughs> he hates being on it, but I'll come and stand next to him. He's a fan of the channel as well, so uh, yeah, let's get on a ride. I think. Right, so you've got the runaway train here behind me. I did say earlier that it was by a manufacturer that's only ever built this one coaster. Yeah, they're called River Rides, and they're a Turkish company based in uh, in uh, An An Kar Ankara in Turkey. It's definitely not a Guben Park. There's a whole thing about it saying that some 
uh, British company give them the designs for it. I don't really know. It's all there on RCDB if you want to pause that and read that about it. Uh, so yeah, but this is actually the last coaster in the whole of Wales I need to ride, uh, unless any other park gets another coaster this year or if they've added something that's not been added to the uh, coaster count and stuff like that. So yeah, I use coaster count to uh, collect all my credits. Uh, so you can basically go on uh, like a map, there's an interactive map, you obviously could just click on uh, United Kingdom and it shows you all the coasters that I still need to ride, which isn't a lot really. So there's two, four, six, eight in the whole of the UK. That's including, I think that's yeah, including uh, coasters in Northern Ireland as well. So yeah, this one here at Barry Island, uh, once I've been on it, you just tick the box at the top to say you've been on it and then it'll show me that I've been on uh, 613 roller coasters this will be uh, once it's just going and get someone to open it up for me to get on it but yeah I was just saying about the uh, the wacky gold mine as it's going to be called over there um, it is going to have a front on it but you still will be able to see the cars coming out from the ends uh, either side so you've got one there then it goes down the drop and you've got the other end there as well I'll get open no no well, what are these Harry got the keys to the pay box Okay. That pay box there to switch this on. All I'm right. just ringing him now to see what I can do. <laughs> okay, All thank right. you very much. What a legend. <laughs> you don't go to Alton Towers and start walking around with the uh, the park managers there, do you? Get it open. <laughs> but he can do it here because he's quite happy to do that for people, uh, especially the enthusiasts. He loves people coming down. There's, there's been so many vlogs from this place where yeah the ferris wheels really impressive as well so yeah i just want to mention this while um, i've got the camera rolling hope i don't get um, copyrighted by the uh, the ghost music in the background um but yeah as of today i looked this morning on facebook and sadly the uh, the ultimate at lightwater valley is being taken down very very sad news especially from the park who have not said anything about this at all uh, it looks like someone's actually broken into like water valley uh, around the back where the ultimate is and got inside the right area and actually taken some pictures the track leading up to the station has been completely gone i don't even think there's any track in the station the uh, the train's been dismantled that's uh, in the raptor attack building around the back uh, obviously raptor attack's no longer there either uh, and then there's a few more pieces of the track that have been taken off. Very sad news. I'm glad that I got on that coaster. It wasn't the it wasn't the most pleasant thing to ride. In fact, it was probably the well, it was the top five uh, bru most brutal coasters I've ever been on in my life. Um, I think Mind Blower takes a spot for that for the top, the worst, roughest coaster in the in the world. But yeah, the ultimate was up there. It, it, it's so sad. I know a lot of people that have been. I never went on it or I've never even been to Lightwater but yeah bad move by the new owners of uh, Lightwater Valley there on my uh, part very sad news for the ultimate coaster right so here we go on Henry Dante's aeroplanes or airlines yeah you pull the lever back to go up same as the one they've got at Carter's my god it's really high I'm still going up I think oh my god <laughs> Yeah, uh, first ride of the day. So you push the flavour forward to go down. It's not going down. <laughs> it's not going down. <laughs> I'm stuck up here. Gotta put the seatbelt on on this one. Oh my god, it's really a steep angle. What a view though, it's absolutely beautiful here. Look at that there. Uh, Barry Beach. Yeah, it's really weird, really weird how there's no hotels on Barry Island at all. I don't think there is. Look at this whole building here. So he's wanting to uh, knock all that down. Oh my god, it's getting faster. <laughs> we'll go back up again. It does go up and down really slowly though. Yeah, he's wanting to extend the uh, the arcade, build some flats on top of there. And then the space at the back where the car park is there, uh, it was a building there. It doesn't want to go down though. <laughs> I'm stuck up here. Uh, here you go, 
a quick aerial ride on Henry Dancer's Airlines, yeah. My uh, my lever, the, the, it's very slow uh, on the pressure here. Should be a bit quicker than this. Oh, you can see the other three there with no one in them. <laughs> what a classic. Yeah, it was a good ride there on the airlines ride there, the little flat ride. Yeah, good old classy ride. Here it comes again. <laughs> what a guy though, what a legend. Just been on your airlines ride. What? But just Have been you? on your yeah, that, good that, isn't it? Classic. Been in the family 70 years. Wow, 70 years. Yeah. Made by Lang Wheels. Wow, there They're you the go. German, really, they, they assembled it, Lang Wheels. Yeah. They made the old torted on the coaster. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah, it was a big day when we had that. Oh, wow, yeah. That, I think it was about three or four thousand pounds. I mean, today you talk about half a million. Oh, oh easy, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, like the Dodge and Bolts, it was all about four thousand pounds wow the new dodge and new bolts yeah 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 most things was about you know around that price oh cool but now expensive of course, it's a, yeah well, a bit more now a million oh now. god yeah well wow. that aerospace was two and a half million <laughs> two and a half million yeah yeah, yeah. it's a lot it is a bit you know so that's a villa I, that's a I, villa in florida that i know <laughs> you don't want it but this is my florida oh he's probably got one he's probably this, this, probably got a villa in florida Two. Don't uh, tell me. Two. No, no, shut up. I think I'm being big headed. Uh, I think I'm bragging. I don't. And what is I it? I don't think that I'm a big head. And what is it? Four villas in Spain, is it? Oh, now you're going. Who's been talking? Hey. Uh, just, what, just what I heard on the paper. Pa the paper always gets you right. Yeah. Huh? Man, no, is he come over? I know he's not come over. Yeah, I just want to get on the uh, the runaway train, and then whatever else is open, I'll get on it. Go on the uh, the mouse over there. Really good one, actually. They had one in. Uh, oh, actually, they've got one at Clarence Pier. I'm hoping to go and see Jordan at some point and have a walk around Clarence Pier before it opens, because they've actually got four brand new rides this year. One of them, well, an attractions. They've actually got an upside down house which they're building at the moment, so that'll be fun at Clarence Pier. But yeah, they've got one of the you can't see it now. <laughs> they've got one of the mouse SPF Visa mouse coasters. Their one's really brutal. This one's really good actually. But yeah, it's starting to fill up a bit now with a few people around. Seems like they don't have a lot of staff here uh, in the winter times. Because uh, matey boy that's just told me on the aeroplane airlines ride. He's running uh, like these rides down here with another person who's on the uh, fun house. Right, here we go. Time to send it on the little dragon coaster. Yeah, this used to be at Alton Towers. There's a little beastie. I never went on it. First time I ever went to Alton Towers when I was about 21. <laughs> I went, to all, uh, I went to Florida first when I was 15 and yeah, first ever time at Walton Towers, I was about 21. <laughs> so I never went on stuff like this, I never did the, uh, the super duper loop. What right? oh, beautiful morning, look at the people on the beach, it's rammed on there. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Woo! What a coaster, I prefer these more than the, uh, than the caterpillars. Excuse me, yeah. If you've not been to Treasure Island in Snowport in the Midlands as well, they've got one of these there. And it's crazy talking to Henry as well because if you don't know, Snowport um, actually floods quite often. And he said it's, it doesn't take a month to reopen it again. Awesome. Alright, so this is how simple to operate a ride. 
you basically hold your foot on the pedal down there and hold the butter in to start the motor and off it goes. Yeah, the uh, Dragon Coast is awesome. My little, my little mate here, he's very shy. He's all right at the minute. He's shy when I come in here. I don't know why. <laughs> that Dragon Coast is awesome. Like I said, it used to be the beastie at Alton Towers. It's really cool. Get yourself to Barry Island, three coasts. There's some good little family rides as well. Awesome. I might even have a go on this. Yay! <laughs> See how good these are. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I tell you what, the amount of fairs I've been to and they said no adults allowed on it, I've got loads of room in here. Woo! Yeah, it's just basically a miniature version of the American Whip. They've got the original American Whip down in South End. Whoa! <laughs> down in South End, which is great. But this is so much better. There's, lo there's loads of room in here. Hey! <laughs> I mean, Steve the Queen as well. Woo! It's really good. I like it, yeah. I don't know what I've never done one before. Woo! <laughs> so obviously, the more weight you've got in the car, the better it spins around. in this uh, off panel here, operator's booth here for the Miami. I've just got some nice shots of that for you there. He's actually running a few rides around here. Yeah, there is still rides closed. It's the winter period. And what I can gather, there's about 10 staff here running the rides. So they're on a rotation. There's not enough people to man every single ride here. So he's running the Miami, uh, the coaster. Uh, I think he said the wall, uh, the dodgems and the balloons. So he's, he's got four rides to run. So I'll probably go on the coaster next. But yeah, you got Tonka machines everywhere. There is catering outlets here as well. But it's just uh, fish and chip shop just there. It's all closed for now, you know. It's it's still winter operation. But like I keep saying, and I'll always keep saying it, at least it's still open. You know, it's been a bit of money. It'll be enough today to pay the staff what they earn today. Uh, so this is four tokens a ride. It's a four pound a ride for the coaster, yeah. Really good one, this one, built by SPF Visa. Right, here we go on the Cyclone Coaster. Yeah, that's what it's officially called. Yeah, this could be my last ride here, unless I can get on the Walter or something like that. Yeah, basically, I don't know if it's loud or not. Yeah, basically, the little runaway train, he needs, he needs to wire something in. Uh, but the engineer's working on the uh, the wacky gold mine to get that ready for the summer. So he just hasn't got the time to get the uh, runaway train open. There was another little family wanted to get on that as well. But we'll come back. I mean, look at it, it's beautiful. There's always a reason to come back here. There's hundreds of people on that beach now. And for them to be in here in the afternoon and spending money, the car park's full as well. But yeah, probably owns quite a bit of land around here. There's a train line as well. Here we go. Land. Yeah, there's not a single hotel on Barry Island, it's crazy. So if there's any investors watching this, get your wallet out. Come on, what are you doing? Spend some money. much of a trim <laughs> not as much as the other ones I've done yeah, back of the uh, log flume as well he could fit another ride in there there look at the crowd of people down here now Just 
spin on the Cyclone Coast that you saw that. Uh, yeah, really good. Probably the best one of these in the UK. The one at Clarence Pier trims a bit too much uh, on the trims. This one's really good. And I got, yeah, I got, I did get a little bit of crowd going down here while I was on the ride, but there's, there's no one here now. Uh, someone just got on uh, after me. Yeah, they've got the Dodgers running as well. Uh, well, like I said, not everything will be open. It is winter, it's still February. Temperatures are now, I don't know, because my watch has died, because I didn't bring my charger with me. That's how disorganised I am. I know uh, I know. Sloppy Vlogs Dave did a video about him showing his preparations for doing a vlog. I, I do none of that. <laughs> I do try and make sure that I've got at least a couple of batteries fully charged and the memory well I've got a box full of memory cards I've got hundreds of memory cards so I've always got memory cards and stuff like that so uh, yeah just coming here last night was a one-off really because I had nothing else to do like I said I was planning on going to Eftelin which I will do when I get time if I get a weekend where they say I'm not working I'll, 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 book, I'll book it I'll book a flight uh, to Eindhoven so yeah you got a twister going here as well not too fussed about twisters Apparently the uh, KMG, sorry, <coughs> I keep getting confused, sorry about the coffin. I keep getting confused, yeah, the, uh, the Hus um, top scan, now, apparently that's all, it's, none, of it, none of it's there, just the back bit to hold it up. That's all been refreshed and redone, so that'll look amazing uh, when that comes back. Is that a Quasar over there? Yeah, there's a Quasar, Laser Quest over there. I've got under the Quasar for a long time. I might go and see if it's open. Well, saying that, I haven't got much battery left to film another vlog or else I would have done. Yeah, you got a Walter and things on the other side as well. But at the end of the day, I'm, I've come here uh, to help promote this place. That's the reason for coming, really. And to get that credit, sadly, it's not going to be open on this trip. But it doesn't matter. It's here. I'll know we'll get on it at some point. And we'll come back uh, and do like a full another Barry Island uh, vlog which is what I did last time but this is more about here Barry Island Pleasure Park really good atmosphere even when there's no one here at least you've got the music the smells of the rides and people enjoying themselves in the nice-ish sunshine yes it's not Australia or Malaysia uh, however that did look really cool uh, yeah, like you got the dodgems down here. I don't know why I'm coughing. It's probably because I'm not used to vlogging in a funfair environment with a with a loud music. Yeah, pretty sure I've done that one as well. Apparently they're getting a they're getting a new they're getting a new waltzer. Pretty much like they've got at uh, the the Harry Harry dancers waltzer which is at Stouport they're getting what one of those here yeah, well, you're on it now <laughs> if you want that big day out you ain't gonna find anything much better than Barry Island we've got such a great choice it's a great place and great memories are made here that you'll treasure you'll take you'll take them home with you but you won't want to forget them and you'll never be short of a party piece because you'll have always something great to tell your friends there's so much to do with the beach, the appearance of the whole place, the rises here, the log flume. That's a terrific ride. I don't think there's ever been anything made better than the log flume. There's not many left, or there's not in Wales left, because they are high maintenance. They, they, they are a costly ride to operate, because the amount of water that's involved with it, to fill it up is just an unbelievable how much it costs. But, it's part of a true original yeah. amusement park. The water rides are absolutely stunning. It's one of them rides, if my son and my grandson, they just tell me it's the best ride in the fair. We pay millions for rides, but the log flume is just yeah, special. Definitely. Well, they're, Lady they're Diane, brain. Lady Diane, Harry, and William, their favourite ride was the log flume. And it was at Chessington, which has yeah. sadly been got taken yeah. out. No, they're not there anymore. Not no Chessington, Thorn yeah. Park. Thorn yes. Park, sorry. Thorn Park. Yeah. Thorn Park. So they are a great ride. We got the, we got one here made by the same company. It's a, a French. It was made in France by by um, Revachon. Yeah. Uh, Philip Revachon and his brother. Uh, they 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 still make them under license because. There's a lot to a log flume, but it is a great ride. 
and then we got the big wheel, the biggest wheel in Wales. We got the carousel for the, you know, the senior citizens, yeah. uh, few of my age. <laughs> and then we got the true original Dodgem. Well, Dodgem's always been a great favourite. It's a family ride for the boys and girls, the mums and dads and grannies and granddads too. They can all have great fun on the Dodgem. It's over 100 years old, the Dodgem, but it's still in the top 10. Wow. But this has got new cars on it, new... Yeah, uh, river. Uh, they are, they are, um, they're made in Italy. They're renowned to be the Rolls Royce of Dodgem cars. Wow. So come on, boys and girls, come and learn to drive on simply the best. Get yourselves to Barry Island. And then we got the roller coaster. I think it's the only, the biggest roller coaster in Wales. So. There's a lot to come to Barry for, but if you come here, don't forget to come and say hello to me, because I'm always here in this little, my little den. Yeah, you're always um, here. Come and say I'm hello to. I'm a, a prisoner to my come den. Come and say to Uncle Henry. <laughs> yeah, you come and say hello to me, and I'll guide you on the best rides there and tell you what's the best of the day. Anyway, I'll leave you on the yeah, note. Nice to see hey, you. A big warm welcome for everybody. Come to Barry, you won't be disappointed. Thank you very and much. I'll leave you on that note. And Cheers, thank mate. you. It's okay. been a pleasure. I'll see yeah. you again soon. All right, okay. Bye now. Take care then. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, bless him so much. He's so passionate about this industry. He just sat in there eating his ice cream and berries. Yeah, there's a lot like said, there's a few rides. He did mention about the goat uh, the sorry, the dodgems, I didn't realise it was a hundred years old. Obviously it's been changed and adjusted since then. Uh, but yeah, please come in, come down to Barry Island. I know a lot of, especially YouTubers or influencers that have never been here and, and, and not actually done anything this winter at all. So if you want your content, try and find the places that are open, especially Barry Island. Stoutport's open as well and a few little places. I'm pretty sure Brighton Pier's open as well now. Uh, and the Grand Pier as well in Weston. But we need more places open year round especially indoor places as well and just really nice atmosphere family parks like this so yeah i'll come back for the train i knew, I knew he, he wasn't ready last time we visited last year uh, but i ended up coming for aerial space uh, but i didn't i didn't fit on it because he actually sent a load of uh, e emails out to um, influencers youtubers to say come and come and get on it we'll let you on it uh, and, and sadly I didn't, I didn't fit on it my chest is too big so uh, yeah there you go hope you've enjoyed this uh, special uh, Barry Island pleasure park vlog uh, with an interview uh, throughout the day or throughout the morning with uh, Henry Dancer himself yes there you go I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and, uh, yeah next weekend we're doing the um, Valentine's Fun Fair, one of the first in the UK in uh, Brooklyn. So if you want us to come and see us there, you can do. We're there uh, Saturday evening. And then the first visit of the year, first major theme park of the year at Legoland next Sunday. Can't wait to go back to Legoland. But uh, yeah, like I said, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time we'll load another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. That's a bit of bonus footage for you, there's me mate that's camera shine. <laughs> Obviously not in a minute. Um, yeah, I've, I, I just left the park, as you probably saw before, and uh, I had a walk down the beach if you follow me on Instagram. I didn't I didn't vlog any of it, because I said I'd be coming back with uh, Lisa and Tilly in the future. It's absolutely stunning here, that beach is amazing. Really nice sand. Yeah, so I just walked in and actually grabbed myself another coffee. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, guys, but yeah, the um, <laughs> the customer service in the in the coastal coffee is pretty poor. It's the one just down there. Yeah, sad to say. <laughs> it's nice though. It's a, a soya hazelnut latte, which is what I like from Starbucks. But yeah, I just walked over and my matey boy, he's like, yeah, the Ferris wheel's open because some a, a woman came over and asked. And he's like, oh, it's open. I'm like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know this thing. <laughs> yeah, old school vlogging again. With my phone, my GoPro's in the car. I think I might have to invest in a new camera. I would like the Sony ZV-1, but I'm going to have to hold it like far away all the time because that doesn't have a wide-angle lens. I prefer having having this view. Like, but I don't have a, a screen on the back of the iPhone. That would be a great invention. 
if somebody could invent, even if it was a case with a screen in the back of the iPhone, so you can uh, see what you're seeing at the minute and not me. Yeah, really nice. And then to open the Ferris wheel, which I didn't know about. There's still a fair few amount of people in here, to be honest. I mean, it's still uh, still early doors. Yeah, the mine train is basically uh, is they need they need to wire something up with it. But yeah, the uh, they could do with a bit more staff here, a couple more, a couple more people helping out running the rides. But yeah, I'll uh, enjoy my coffee on my beautiful ride here at Barry Island Pleasure Park in the glorious sunshine, <laughs> as Liam Gallagher would say. Gallagher. Beautiful. Get yourselves out to these places around the country if you've got nothing else to do. I'll see you in the next one.